These are visuals from Afghanistan's newsrooms where women were forced to cover their faces. The Information and Culture Ministry previously announced that the policy was final and non-negotiable. Back at home in Karnataka, some Muslim students wanted to wear the hijab in the classroom and were banned. This made hijab a topic of a fierce debate. But the practice of parda is not just an issue restricted to the Muslim community. It's widely prevalent among other religions as well. The practice of parda among women in India exists in different forms of the gungat, the pallu, the patta, burqa, hijab and so on. Hijab is a traditional scarf worn by Muslim women to cover the hair and neck and sometimes the face. Burqa is a tip-to-toe gown covering the entire body. A study in 2019 by Lokniti was conducted among 6,348 women of 18 years and above in 11 Indian states. Respondents were asked if they practiced any kind of parda. The results showed that about two in every five Indian women wore a parda under three situations. One-thirds in front of male members of their family, two-fifths in front of their relatives, and nearly the same proportion in public places. And if we look at the data across religions, then it shows two-fifths of both Hindu women and Muslim women observe parda even in their personal spaces, that is from the men of their family, that's 42% and 45% respectively. Muslim women appear more likely to comply with the practice when in public, and the proportion of Hindu women remains high with over two-fifths wearing a ghungat or a pallu while out in public. A negligible portion of Christian and Sikh women report practicing any form of parda. Over two-fifths of rural women, that's 42%, practice parda when around men in the family as against one-fourth of urban women, that's about 26%. As the status of education among women improves, one finds them less likely to observe any form of parda. Overall, women who did not receive any formal education are about twice as likely to practice parda in different situations as compared to the ones who've studied up to college. However, a dismal number of women have access to education. Only about one in five of women, that's 22%, have access to college education. Muslim women are least likely to have attended colleges at only 16%. This is seven points lower than Hindu women, where close to one in every four, about 23%, have been to college. So as Malala puts it, one child, one teacher, one book, one pen can change the world. Data points out that education in this regard would be monumental. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.